Hello, my name is Jim Woodward. I'm with the Solutions team here at Vectorworks. In this video, I'd like to show you how to get a quick start of creating system documentation with our ConnectCAD plugin for Vectorworks. Let's get started. Start off by turning on icons and text so you can see the tools I'm using. And we start by creating a new document from the ConnectCAD template file. This will bring in the resources and the layers I need. We're going to start on the 3D layer and let's go to the layout tool set and we'll select a room and we'll place that in. This is in now in room one, we'll leave that. We put an equipment rack into that room and we'll name this V1. Once we have that, let's move over to the schematic layer. I'm gonna start off in the schematic tool set with our device builder. We do a search, let's say we're looking for a server and we can select our model something simple and this information populates the device I name this device as server 1 now I'm going to save this as a symbol to the local file if I had done more editing I could have saved this to our database now what I'd like to do is now use another tool the device tool and we can remove that first one and use that symbol to create arrays you'll see how it numbers itself in sequence now from here, I'm going to also go in to the device builder and we're going to do one more thing. We're going to place a switcher. Now let's search for a video switcher and something again simple. We'll label that and we're good to go. Next, I want to use the connection tool to mix our circuits connections and we draw our path and click from source to destination. Nice feature is that I can just double click on the next device and it'll go to the next available input. From here I'm going to select all of these and we're going to say that they're all into room 1 and rack V1. Now I can start off the first one we'll put this into slot number 4, 8, 12, 16, and the switcher will put up just a little higher up at 24, 28. Now from there, I can go in, selecting the cables, we'll number those, and now let's zoom in, we're going to create a worksheet, documentation, circuit report. Now what this allows me to do is I can work from the worksheet. If we place that there and select, you'll see if I edit the worksheet, the drawing updates. If I change the design and update the worksheet, it will go the other direction. Now next what I want to do is I want to run a command in the 3D layout To populate the rack, we go into layout, create equipment, select our source, and the devices come right in. From there, I can select the rack, go in, and create rack elevation. This is a sheet already assigned, already created for 2D rack elevations. We see the rack come in, update. We can scale that appropriately. If you have any questions about anything we've covered, feel free to reach out to schedule a one-on-one -on -one demo with a solution specialist. You can also explore more tutorials and helpful guides on Vectorworks University or check out our onboarding content to get the most of your trial.